Hi guys, I've got some great news for you guys. I've got Dr. Keaton's ROM, uh, which turns your Note 4 into a S7 Edge. I got it working on my Sprint Galaxy Note 4. Now there is a fix that allows you to make GSM work. So I did that, but I couldn't get any data working on Sprint's network. So here's what I did. I was actually going through my own article. Uh, if you go to highonandroid.com, there's an article where I show you how to install Verizon ROMs on Sprint Galaxy S5, S4, S3, and Note 3. Now, all you have to do is go into the LTE APN settings and set your APN to that. That's all I did. And now it's working. <laughs> this is great. Like, I, I was almost giving up and I figured it out. So I figured there was a lot of Sprint Note 4 users for some reason and a lot of you were asking me. So go to your access point names. Um, it's going to auto load these three, which will not work. So just go ahead and make your own APN, n.ispsn, um, all that here, and it works. As far as installation, I will just walk you through real quick. It's exactly same as T-Mobile. So install the ROM as if you're installing it on T-Mobile. So go ahead and download all the files. Um, let me go ahead and restart into recovery mode. All right, and also you will need the Lollipop bootloader, which I will also show you how to install, which is really easy. So the first thing you will do, <coughs> all right, um, and you can use actually 3.0.20. You don't have to use the older version. I was able to do it just fine. Uh, it actually doesn't matter. So go ahead and do a wipe. Go ahead and install Dr. Keaton ROM M4. All right, when that's done, we're gonna install the vitamin kernel, the data fix, and just in if it doesn't boot, um, you can go ahead and download the bootloader and install the uh, 5.1.1 bootloader. For some reason, it will not boot with Marshmallow bootloader. But uh, I was just kind of almost giving up. I just figured it out. And I know there was a lot of Sprint for no users and you know, I just wanted to let you guys know and this is one of my favorite phones. This, this is one I broke the screen on a drop test uh, and I replaced it with a uh, white body. Kind of cool. Custom Note 4. All right, this is amazing. So for Sprint users, now you can pretty much install any international ROMs. Um, so long as it's compatible with T-Mobile, you can just go ahead and change the API and it'll work. Now do make a backup of your modem and EFS. I'll also show you that real quick uh, after we do this, all right? Um, you should have done that before, but go ahead and install the vitamin kernel. That's done. Install the datafix mm3.zip and also reboot system now. Now before you do this, you should always make a backup with these cross-platform uh, ROM. Sometimes modems and EFS can get lost. So just go to backup before you do anything. You can go ahead and uncheck everything, just uh, back up EFS and modem and do that. That's like only, what, 78 megabytes. It takes you five seconds to do it and it may save you one day. All right, go ahead and reboot system. And this should take about five to 10 minutes. But if it does get stuck on this logo, I'll show you here, you'll see exactly how long, because I have the correct bootloader here, you'll see how long it takes for it to change from there to there. So it only took like 10 seconds. If it hangs more than that, um, go ahead, pull the battery out, put it into uh, download mode, volume down, center home, and power, hit the volume up. All right, connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. And let's go to our computer real quick. All right guys, you guys know the drill. Um, make sure you have Samsung USB drivers installed. If you don't have it, download the drivers, install it. Um, and also download Odin v3.10.6, unzip it, you'll get a folder with Odin 3. You will also need the Lollipop bootloader, I'll have a link to that. Download the bootloader Lollipop OJ6. This only includes the bootloader and the modem which you need. It doesn't boot on Marshmallow, alright, for some reason. Um, go ahead and run Odin, and if you have the proper drivers installed, 
Uh, this should pop up. I don't know what's happening here. Hold on. Oh, there we go. So I have to unplug it and plug it in. Um, there we go. You should see a random column number. Choose AP. Go to your download folder. Go ahead and choose the bootloader blah blah dot tar. Hit open. Hit start. And this will update your bootloader and modem to the. Sorry, my daddy battery died at the crucial moment, but um, you will see pass here. That should only take five seconds. And your phone will reboot. And I'll be back when this completely boots. And boom shakalaka. That was pretty simple, guys, right? So let me go ahead and sign in. And you will see that my data doesn't pick up right away. But we'll go ahead and input the APN together here. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and insert my own APN. You'll see that my data is not working. So now go to mobile networks, go to access point names, add. All right, and you're going to set the name to anything. I'm just going to put anything. I don't know, phone. Uh, type n.ispsn for APN. Uh, MMSC, this is for receiving uh, multimedia messages. You know. um, go ahead and type http dot dot slash slash mms dot print pcs dot com like that. Multimedia message proxy is 6a dot 28 dot 31 dot 7. All right, message port is 8.0. Double check that uh, MCC is 3.10 and 120. Go ahead and hit more, save. And you guys ready for this? Change it to your new anything APN. Hit OK, 4G. That 4G is actually 4G LTE. I'll show you real quick. Go to about device. It's just this ROM shows as 4G. Yeah, uh, I got out of here. Status, SIM card status, LTE. All right, and I can prove that it's working. 411. Phone calls working. Great. 411. All right, Sprint 411. So if that worked, you're good. Also, internet. Let me just go ahead and type some random letters. Um, blah, blah. and boom shakalaka. There you have it. Now you can install Dr. Keaton's, this is the latest M4 version on Sprint Note 4. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Um, I just kind of <laughs> happened to just go through some of my old posts and I was like, oh, why don't I just change that again? And it started working, I was like so excited. Anyway, I just wanna share it with you guys. Sprint Note 4 users, now you can have the power of a S7 Edge, uh, it is the exact same ROM um, on your Sprint Note 4. So don't get jealous, install it now. Do let me know what you think, but I think you guys will love it. There's still no, um, the fingerprint sensor doesn't work yet. The always on screen doesn't work. So make sure always on screen is off. If you don't, if there is actually an option to turn it on in the quick settings, do not turn it on because if you turn it on and it doesn't work, it actually wastes your battery. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Have a great day. I've also got the Verizon Note 4 um, coming. It should be the same thing. If you have a Verizon Note 4 uh, with an unlocked bootloader, go ahead and try to install the same way as Sprint, and then go ahead and input the APN for Verizon. But I don't have a Verizon Note 4, but since now you can unlock the bootloader, and I wanna make instructions for you guys, I've just ordered one on eBay for like 190 bucks. Um, so I should have that next week. Also, unlocking the bootloader, installing different ROMs on the Note 4. I mean, this Note 4 is super awesome. I mean, you can pick up and use one for like 190. That's that's awesome. Actually, the Verizon one is probably a good deal right now because you know it was just not popular because of the locked bootloader. But now you can unlock the bootloader and install ROMs. You can actually use it on both Verizon and regular GSM network. Anyway, have a great day, guys. I just want to add that video for Sprint users. I know you guys are going to be super happy. Uh, have a great day. And as always, stay. Click here to subscribe.